This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> My touch order was the shit. It really was. I had that single on tape for that motherfucker. Too out. bad I didn't know the words until way later. Yeah. When it was like, yeah. uh, what is it? Um, there's a verse on there that you're like, huh? Fuck. This is how we do it. It's Friday. Because it's like... Um, Big black truck and and six foe you can get something, but he's basically right. saying he's got a big dick, yeah. and you're just it fucking comes to you like oh fuck, yeah. like that next yes. song when uh, too close. step back you're dancing kind of close, so yeah. feel a little oh, yeah. poke, and we're all kids, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you're like, I know. oh shit, that was a boner. Yeah. She's talking yeah. about. <laughs> I'm like now I'm like how the fuck did we listen to all this shit? But those were the jams back in the day. But then we talk about our kids listening to WAP and yeah, it was, we were doing the same shit. <laughs> what, uh, was it Five O Four Boys? You, you ain't gotta see it too. Yeah, that I know was what they were. That no, was your quinceanera song. <laughs> 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 that shit came on on Club Z, a real man. I'd fucking take off running like I was a chick. He's, all, he's all humping the floor yeah, and yeah. shit. <laughs> Thomas, put your pants up, man. <laughs> I think I was like in ninth grade when that came out. <laughs> For real? Yeah. No way. Mm-hmm. Man, we're old. <laughs> fucking ninth grade. Mm-hmm. We're in high school. Yeah, I thought you were way younger than us. Cause I want to say that song came out when we were like in junior, like junior year, right? Yeah, it had to be jun- <clears throat> junior. Yeah. You're that younger. 96, 97. What year did you graduate? 80, or 2003. Damn. And y'all? Like 2000, right? 99. 99. Oh, okay. But I thought you were like six, seven years younger. Because no, for Because your sister graduated uh, when she was 20. I graduated on time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all no, she graduated when she was 19. <laughs> she did. Y'all Going y'all on 20. <laughs> the man. Y'all's that episode girl. was the shit. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I told JP, I probably... Watch that Dude, one like five or six different times. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> fucking joking. Um, you would think that me personally, because when I just hit record and it went to shit <laughs> immediately, I was like, "This is not gonna be for my <laughs> listeners." But man, everybody was like, "Dude, that was fucking hilarious!" And like, they need their own pot. No, the fuck they don't. <laughs> not with me. That, that shit was bad. We do need our independent yeah, one, that our bad. own. That'd be tight. Well, I know a, a media company that <laughs> so they can make it happen. But yeah, uh, everyone said it was pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't get not one. Yeah, my daughters Did, liked it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I've literally probably watched it like six times. Man, the whole. <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, man, I'm cool with telling my horror stories, but I don't yeah, want to yeah, hear yeah. my sister's. <laughs> yeah. You're, I know, you see regret for the moment. You're like, oh, shit. She yeah. was, what did she say? She was like quick to just tell you, too. I can't remember what she said, but she was like, uh, oh, uh, I mean, I thought we were going to talk about my first time. Fuck, yeah, I don't want to like, fucking hear about yeah. your first time. She's talking about dildos. Fuck? I was like, fuck it, Ashley. <laughs> she, she had hit me up. Like It was after one of the episodes. uh Cause you know she's always been like a little sister, but I hadn't talked to her in years. And she goes, uh, "So you're single? What's up?" Uh, I, when she says something, about, I need a sugar daddy or something. Oh she's like, "Fucking ass!" You're like, "I ain't got no money." I was like, "I'm broke, Mika." I was like, what's, what's your financial situation looking like? Actually? We can make it happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. She's crazy. I love you. I told her too. I, th- I said I thought she had a. See, I don't even know shit. <laughs> no, I didn't want to know that. I'm telling family secrets over here. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I won't say nothing. <laughs> I saw the way um, I didn't order anything yet, but your niece is making little bracelets and shit like that? Yeah, dude. Um, I want to see And they're shit. fucking legit. Yeah. yeah. yeah the pictures, uh, I keep on her ass that she needs to keep posting it and posting it. She's like, I already did. I, post, I go, dude, people don't go to other people's page yeah. ever. Yeah. When was the last time you went to someone's page? Really? Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. I I don't. I don't creep or nothing like that. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just go look at so the love if it's shops. not. R- <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! That's I it. hate that. I hate that fucking. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure though, bro. It's like, funny. I hate, uh, yeah. I hate yeah, that yeah. fucking <laughs> thing. I, look I really at, I'm like, do. Damn, this bitch got locked up. People be texting me like, "Oh, look at your cousin," <laughs> yeah. and I'm oh, like, "Oh yeah, I'm and I'm like. Dude, that's fucking personal <laughs> shit, man. I've seen like, like three or four of my cousins. Though. I'm like, God dang it, like, for real. Yeah, for real, and yeah. then it's always it. It's always like 
hey, check this out. I'm like, dude, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I find out a lot of people have unpaid tickets or possession of. And marijuana. that's the thing, like you get a, a ticket, lot of you get a ticket in like 2001, and then you get pulled yeah. over, and then you're in it. And it shows oh, yeah. it, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're like, fuck well, yeah. what do you do? I probably have a warrant mm-hmm. for my wrist. And then people are like, <laughs> oh, that dude's an asshole, so he probably murdered someone. Yeah, I know. And then it says unpaid tickets. Unpaid t- <laughs> oh, my bad. He didn't murder nobody. That's going to be me. I'm going to be all he sponsored mur- by JP Lo. <laughs> he murdered himself. He mur- He killed a lot of babies, I heard. <laughs> he murdered himself. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Shit. You ready to start? Oh, I forgot we had to start it. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Uh, that's me. Hello. John Eric. Media. 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 <sighs> okay. Here we go. All you ladies, pull your chichis out. This is the JP Lopez Show. Also, if you're a transgender boy or background, this is the JP Lopez Show. Hey, La Onda Don't Shine Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you for tuning back into the JP Lopez Show. I got um, my cousin back on. Hey. MJ. I got the uh, friend of the podcast. Sure, he sure. fucked up the co-host last, said, yeah. last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I took five steps back. <laughs> Trying to redeem myself. What's up with Thomas and that dog story? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a banger. <laughs> what's up, uh, How what's you doing, going on, brother? I'm getting there, man. Yeah. I'm blessed. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. How well, you doing? I'm, I'm glad to fucking hear that you're busy, man, because this is the time to stack that bread. Man, brother, uh, I've been doing this for about six years now, and uh, I'm grateful for it. This time yeah. of year is just busy, 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 but baseball season keeps me occupied. And You uh, know how I know you're busy? You dart. I know, dude. I know. And then my legs are all bright that white. Farmer's and shit. Tan. I know. But shout out to you, man. I've uh, a couple of people I've never met hit me up to do some yards and uh, networking, and met some people. Some met some amazing people. So shout out to you. Badass, bro. It, bro. Badass. Uh, anyone reach out to you on your episode saying, "Damn, you're cochina." No. Just when are you gonna go back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking nasty. That was it. <laughs> people were like, "What?" They didn't hear the nasty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, uh, that was good shit. Though. People hit me up and they were like, "What's Susia?" My sister <laughs> went shut the fuck up with Susia, Susia. I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> she wants to trademark it. <laughs> Make her <a> t-shirt. <laughs> right. She is a Susia. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it until that fucking. <laughs> You yeah. found you found you learned some things oh, and, and, and the shit we cut ago. out of that podcast. Yeah, so. that was a lot. Yeah, Especially it was heavy. Our, our it break. was fucking heavy. <laughs> yeah, I, I told yeah, JP. It was. I told JP. I've probably watched it like six times with my kids, bro. <laughs> bro, my daughter's the like, shit we cut out, bro. Uh, I mean, it was like a Tampax heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yeah. It really was. It was needed though. It was good. Yeah, it was really good. good. It was good for who? For you. <laughs> it was good to let some stuff out. <laughs> Your face in the whole podcast. I was like, "What the fuck did I do?" Yeah, yeah. Immediately, and I, he's just shaking his head. As soon as I hit, oh, yeah. as soon as I hit record, I was like, oh, "I fucked up." Yeah, fucked walking up. in, he was saying it. <laughs> so sorry, Mary, Mary Jane. I just seen your text. What's the address? Glad you found it. <laughs> <Ta-da>. <laughs> I'm, glad I found it too. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> uh, so we had a last, the last episode. Um, It was kind of like thrown together. It worked out pretty well, but we we didn't drink. Shocked me. Like (laughs) for real. Like I mean, we usually get together, get fucked up, and then start the podcast. But we didn't even drink. I say that because have you ever had a four local night? Oh man, Uh, I haven't personally. I haven't. I was like more of a like wine cooler kind of person really yeah but i bring up for loco specifically because do you remember when it first came out oh, yeah. it was like what 12 percent alcohol and then it was an energy drink oh yeah, yeah. it was an energy drink mm-hmm. yeah. it, it had That's what uh, made me stay away from that <laughs> i was scared bro <laughs> the two worst nights of my whole life partying was on four loco <laughs> oh, and God. both nights were four loco nights <laughs> oh, and, and it was just one like it was yeah. one for the pregame, and then we started. We went to the bars or whatever, and 
I'm talking shitty, <laughs> shitty. Like they were trying to, all my friends, all like, let's just say four or five of them motherfuckers trying to get me in a truck. Oh my God. Like, like force me in a truck because I did not want to leave and I, I was about to fight <laughs> nobody, Everybody. just fight somebody. And uh, four locos. a fucking cop rolls by in front of the uh, library and I was like, oh, it's time to go. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you, JP. <laughs> <laughs> and then um the the second time for loco uh i'm waking up my mom is waking me up i still live with my mom and dad and my mom is waking me up fucking cussing me out and i'm like what the fuck and she's like why are you here and your truck is gone where the fuck is your truck <laughs> and i was like that's a fucking damn good question <laughs> <laughs> at least you didn't drive <laughs> well i i borrowed her car and went to my buddy's house that i remembered the last spot i was at and my truck was there i was like oh, oh good <laughs> I, I just don't remember how i, I got home i still don't know how i got home that's four locals really dude i never i never got into and it. they had my keys so how the fuck did i get inside Dang, maybe Ashley let you in. No, nah, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley was not that cool. <laughs> back then. She, she would have left her ass not outside. Back then. Let his ass get busted yeah. by mom and dad. But <laughs> legit woke up. She's fucking bitching me out. Because I think she took more pride than I did in that truck. And I took a lot of pride in that truck. And she's like, where the fuck is your truck? And I was like, oh, shit. Hey, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Four locos. Y'all would have seen my mom on the Lubbock lineup. <laughs> She murdered her son. <laughs> <laughs> he can't find his truck. <laughs> Fucking four locals, bro. We had that uh, dude, where's your car before the movie yeah, came yeah. out. <laughs> right. you, you go outside. I don't know where the hell that motherfucker's at. <laughs> dude, that's four locals. I, I heard uh, bad stories about it. My, you was, never? I never did. I, man, I got into drinking whiskey and Crown and shit like that, but my, I had a little sister, or I do have a little sister, JP, uh, Jessica. Shout out to Jessica Rios. She drank those motherfuckers like at, in high school and after high school, and she'd get tore up, bro. But she likes to fight, so she'd be at the club fighting off of four locals. So that made me stay away from it, dude. Like, dude, it, uh, it's I, probably like ten years from now. You're gonna be uh, an asbestos type commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been exposed to, to four, four local? local. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did four local ruin your life? <laughs> you're entitled to compensation. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's why I stood away from it, brother. I never heard no good. I've ne I've never heard anything good about yeah. Four Locos. Bro. And they took it off the market, and then uh, they took like the energy drink out of it, and then put it back on the shelf for. That's crazy shit, dude. dude. So are they selling it now? Do they? I haven't seen it, but maybe they still do. I think they do. I think they do. I want to say that my son was looking for one the other day. Maybe they still do. I, I wouldn't doubt that they do, but I know they took it off the shelf to take the energy drink out of it. Because yes. that upper and downer, man. It's like how they always said, like, cocaine and, and weed that didn't mix because it was right. an upper and a downer. Right, exactly. I know, yeah. Uh, Alleg I, I, Allegedly, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like I said, I don't fucking. But have you ever done cocaine and weed no no i've oh. smoked a lot of weed but no cocaine i like i'm just asking because i i don't know I they, they say that's bad for you like yeah, yeah. to, to oh, do yeah. both yeah uh, yeah because one like i said one's an upper and downer if you have anxiety it's what it feels like you know, that's what, uh because you're i've had anxiety i don't know if you yeah or your heart i've had up. yeah when my so, dad passed i had anxiety oh no yeah. Shit, yeah yeah oh yeah that's right we have talked about it. yeah, yeah. That, that shit made my heart it felt like i was doing some coke you know what cured my anxiety like legit uh, the keto diet. No oh, shit. I think I think eliminating sugar from your, your diet, um, man, made my anxiety go away. I remember when you sent me a text out of nowhere. I think I was telling you I was having some issues, and uh, it wound up being my gallbladder. And yeah, uh, they told me to cut back on my sugars and shit after I, even after I had the surgery. Really? Yeah. And I'm I'm trying to, but man, I have my urges. Pinche raza. I can't leave those tortillas alone. Yo, bro. <laughs> Me and my I damn Whoppers. I still eat my damn Whoppers, bro. Dude. They're not as good. But yeah, if a, if a Whopper, Whopper is burger. cooked right, if and when, when a you, fucking Whopper goes when, hard, man, bro. When that wind, sm when it catches that smoke, it hits you right, my yeah. fat ass will find a Burger King. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'm going to take my chances. That's, <laughs> hey, that's flame broiled. <laughs> that's... <laughs> 
back in the day, the one in the hood, bro, that was my spot. That uh, was. That was. Dude, dollar whoppers, bro. Man. Right? How how many years was yeah. a whopper? A two dollar? for two, Like bro. at least five or six years. Oh, yeah, years. Five, seven years. Yeah. It never for changed. Time, yeah. And yeah. then they have the two for two. Uh, I still remember the fucking chicken uh, sandwiches when they were two for 222. The song was, uh, I believe in miracles. I still remember it, bro. I was like, fuck, chicken sandwiches. For t- <laughs> I do sub Burger King's. I'll add a snack. For real, though, I do. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a good time. Their chicken tenders were good. Yeah, now they're yeah. what? Well, the chicken sandwiches are horrible. Chicken yeah, tenders? Yeah. They had yeah, chicken tenders? They had chicken tenders back that. in the day. Did they really? Yeah. Oh. Well, the kids. Uh, yeah, with the, the kids, kids stuff. Yeah, you're right. Because yeah. that's when they had those little goofy-ass uh, the kid on skateboards and shit. I remember that, but you know, yeah, I forgot about the chicken. Nuggets. You know, uh, people are doing hacks now with kids meals. Have you seen that no. on TikTok and shit? The there's like a kids meal, um, um, Texas Roadhouse meal. There's a kids meal somewhere else, uh, like a Slim's chicken. That's like two ninety nine at Slim's Chicken. You buy like three of them, it's nine bucks, and you have all this fucking food. Yeah. Roadhouse, same way. You buy like two kids' milk. You have all these fuck, all this food, oh, yeah, some yeah. shit. But I'll tell you a story about Burger King. Um, so we were getting going to Burger King. It was me and my uncle Enos. <laughs> Shout out, man. So I'm like, uh, he was cool. I was like, <laughs> he's he's asking me. He's at, he's ordering all his shit, and then he's like, he's asking me, what do you want? And I was like, well, fuck, I'll take, like, a kid's meal or something. And he was like, you're getting a fucking Whopper. <laughs> you ain't getting no kid's meal, yeah. goddamn it. He's like, Whoppers are a dollar, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, you sure you don't want two? So <laughs> I was like, I was like, I never had a Whopper. So you, well, today's the fucking well, day. Yeah. So, yeah, we sit down, and I think he had, like, two or three Whoppers on the, the little tray. Yeah. And he's like, if, you, if you're hungry, eat another one. And I fucking fucked off that Whopper, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> the sesame <laughs> seeds. Where's this been my whole fucking... Yeah, for real, no bro. No shit, dude. For real, bro. People, it, like I always joke, my brothers were malnutrition because they wouldn't eat and started themselves for wrestling. My ass found a dollar twenty-five, and I went to Burger King every like, fucking day. And you lived right by it. I, then I was like Norm there. I'd walk in, they'd be, hey, mijo. And I'm like... The usual the time is mijo. For real, bro. <laughs> It was embarrassing until I was like, oh, I got the hookup and shit. I was like, cool. All right, cool. Yeah. Burger King was a shit. You were all wimpy and shit. Yeah. I'll, pay I'll pay you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, started working at Wiener Schnitzel across the street. I know, dude. And that shit. Was- this fucker worked at Wiener Schnitzel. Fuck, we don't, we didn't ever pay for shit. Yeah. Never. Family packs. Yeah. Like, Just roll through. And then I, we had a homeboy that worked at Taco Bell, remember? Oh, yeah. Ampy. Ampy. Oh, yeah. Shout out Ampy and Joey. Dude, yeah. you know how like, you know, someone works at Taco Bell, you have the hookup. <laughs> This motherfucker. I'm talking like a, a mountain of food. Oh, God. And he's like, oh, here y'all go. Yeah. And yeah, me and Thomas fucked that up. <laughs> yeah. And then go play at Copper for free. For, yeah, we did We did a lot of... It, shout out to you, though, man. I did a lot of shit for free because kicking with him. And we went to a baseball game recently. And we had a friend. She was a, like, she was a grade younger than us. And she worked in the game room at Copper. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you know those um, straight A 40 yes. token rolls for straight A's? Uh, I forgot about she that. She would she would hand us like three or four of those rolls when we get there, and I mean fuck all those games are like a, a one token or whatever. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we were playing all fucking night, and then <laughs> we go to Taco Bell yeah. on the way home, and get free Taco Bell, <laughs> yeah. and then spend a fucking cent all Dang. night. Yeah, that's nice. Because we were balling. <laughs> We were, we were hood rich. <laughs> JP knew the right people. Well, we, you know, those are the days. But we, yeah, I forgot about the hookup at a 50th caboose and shit like that. Dude. You never had a hookup nowhere? Uh, yeah. I can't think of it off my head right no. now. But yeah, yeah, we got hooked up everywhere. All we used to have the hookup at KFC. Gilbert's chick used to work at KFC. Fuck, that's expensive. And we would roll over there, me and my mom, and she'd be like, here you go. But I think she was almost going to get fired. I heard the hack but. was to go around closing time because they'll just throw all the shit in your bag yeah. to not throw it away. Mm. I don't know if that's true. Or I not. don't know. There were some restaurants, dude, that were dicks. They'd be like, they'd rather you throw it away than eat it, take it home. And so, of Give course, when I'd work in the kitchen, I'd, I'd give a shit. I was mm-hmm. going to take it home. Yeah. Mm-mm. I know you were going to take it home. Oh, yeah. Right? You, you were my, hungry. I was going to feed you, <laughs> anybody else. I wasn't. They're like, they want to throw away three family packs. Come pick I remember this shit waking up. my mom up. <laughs> It was like one in the morning, and uh, I was like, hey, uh, can you take us? I didn't have a car yet, and uh, I was like, Thomas is working tonight. Can you take me and Chris to uh, Wiener Schnitzel? And she was like, what the fuck, man? And uh, she took us, and fucking, um, 
You'd have thought we ordered like ten crowd crowd pleasers and yeah. shit. Oh, I was like, God dang, God. Tom. <laughs> That's cool. I'm taking up a check. <laughs> I know a lot of people bring that up. I said, I know, dude. Uh, Wiener Schnitzel, they, my, they're not the same either. Oh no, Wiener no. Schnitzel used to be the shit. They went man. to shit mm-hmm. quick. Yeah, they're horrible. Man. Since COVID, I don't know if they changed the chili or the hot dog, but it's fucking nasty. I think nasty. it's the chili. You're right, it is. Man. I think it's so. gross. I don't like it either. Yeah, I got. I'll some just the, stick with their corn dogs. Yeah, that's what I was telling that's JP. I you know, like their corn dog? Yeah. yeah. I don't even like their corn dog. I draw mine in mustard, so it really it just tastes like mustard. I like my taters with <laughs> mustard. <laughs> I said, oh, I like my biscuits with mustard. <laughs> so the kids uh, started the star test today. Yep. Do you fucking remember that toss test? I do. God, dude. It felt like it was long. It was. They made you feel stupid as fuck, right? though. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. like the weight of the the world was on you oh, yeah. like mm-hmm. you're not going in fifth grade unless you oh, pass yeah. this test yep. and you're like you're, are you fucking serious the future of your family depends on this <laughs> right. and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> it's all cold and shit in that room the right. the reading day i'm all reading that paragraph like 10 fucking times yeah. and it don't stick yeah. like i'm all thinking of football and playing <laughs> kickball and i'm like on my eighth <laughs> time rereading the paragraph i'm like fuck okay. thinking fuck about yeah. that snack fuck yeah. <laughs> What's the snack? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the pressure was like a for motherfucker, for real, man. Bro. Mm-hmm. And then my cousin, Naya, blew my fucking mind. She, that was the only thing that didn't, Why that, she that graduate? prevented her from mm-hmm. graduating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had no fucking yeah. idea they would even, yeah. like they, they stood to their word on that yeah. shit. Yeah. Especially That in happened high to my nephew, too. Yeah. For One real? My nephews, yep. Yeah. Yeah. He so, had to go to summer school to, to pass the test. That's bullshit. Yeah. And I got lucky when we passed ours, because... I don't know. Uh, I copied off of Felix Robles. I don't know if you remember Felix, because <laughs> we had the same birthday, and I was, you know, I was smart, but I was lazy as shit. And Felix was real smart, so I remember we were in the Shout library. Shut up, Felix Robles. I mean, he was real smart. Bro. <laughs> he got Thomas graduated. And his ad, well, no, he, he fucking did. Be, or we were cool shit, but so he was telling me the answers, that, right? And I'm like, hey, Felix, what's this? And he's like, B or B. So I'm going through it, right? So I get to a certain thing and I was reading. I was like, what does this word mean? And long story short, we all had different tests. And that motherfucker let me, he knew that we had the wrong test. Oh, and he was, was giving me. Say, and, I thought they were different. And I'm like, I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and he just laughs because he finishes. And, and you I'm were like, counting bubbles, two bubbles. So real, bro. That's, Three bubbles. <laughs> and I wound up having to go back and do it myself. And I passed it. So that's when I realized, okay, I'm, I'm smart, but I'm just a lazy motherfucker. But yeah, shout out to Figs. He, he, he strung me along the whole way. And then he was like. They're the different tests, bro. Yeah. And I was like, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> so he made me believe in myself. <laughs> I, I I don't remember ever passing it. Obviously, I did yeah. um, because I'm fucking here. <laughs> but do you remember like them telling you you're not going to graduate? Sophomore year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not going to graduate unless mm-hmm. you pass oh, yeah. this talk. Well, yeah. I didn't even take my sophomore year test because I had just had Damien. So I had to take Fuck. it the following year. I had to go into like a and they keep you behind extra right? yeah. classes for reading and, yeah, exactly. and like math. remedial shit. Yeah, like I was stupid. <laughs> I'm like I, I mean, just had a were. fucking baby. You had a kid and talk weird. Fucking JP. Oh, stupid. You know, but I passed it the next year. Did you go to Matthews to? No, you know? I went to Lubbock High. Oh, that's what's up. The whole time. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I w- I was gonna say that um, tenth grade. I remember getting the results back and they were like, pass, pass, pass. And Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck yeah. Because a bunch of our other friends had to go like certain days, junior and senior year to retake the test. And we we didn't have to go. Like even my kids, they don't go till one o'clock because they finally passed it. My middle one, I had trouble with her and I had to explain to that. I was like, man, if you concentrate, you ain't got to do it no more. Mm -hmm. So now she finally got it. Yeah. When we did it, I passed all three of my on the first try. And that's why when I tried to drop out, they were like, dude, what are you doing? You know, they're like, because I even I'm, I try to drop out all the time, man. I went to I went to Matthews, so when I asked you, I was like, oh, I went to Matthews. And you weren't even pregnant. He's, yeah. on, <laughs> he's on the breakfast line. You ain't got bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dropping out. Fucking dropping out. It's hot in this bitch. Yeah, damn, time is 7 a.m. School ain't even started. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he got no ain't got no fucking bacon <laughs> fucking dropping out I quit out. fuck this school <laughs> <laughs> Thomas you're at Burger King <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck <laughs> oh, but I got like I scored with a four the highest you can on a writing, writing. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, you know so I um, I don't even remember what the fuck I wrote about but I, I was like that's when I knew I, I could do things I should have went to college I remember in high school you were encouraging me to go and shit mm-hmm. but once I hit that once I could drop out 
in the then I knew I could graduate like three months early, I became an alcoholic. You know, so <laughs> I remember at graduation I was fucking drunk. Well, you graduated. That's you graduated you, already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Matthews. <laughs> you know, I I owe my life right now to my dad. Yeah, oh, I man. really do. Shout out, brother. Because yeah. when I graduated, that was it. Yeah, I I had I was. I was planning on lying to my parents and saying I'm going to take a year off, but I was like, yes. I'm never going to go back to That's school. Me, yeah. Fuck school. <laughs> so, like, it's like July, and my dad's like, when does school start? And I'm like, the fuck you mean? Dad, I graduated. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, but when the fuck do you go back to school? And I'm like, I'm going to take a year off to go work. And he was like, oh. And he, co- he was cool. And he was like, all right. And then, like, a week later, he's like, hey, uh, I enrolled you for that, uh, was it called the TOS test? It was. Mm-hmm. It was. Back it, in our days, it was. T-S. No, but, but the, the college one. Uh, no. It's the task. Task. It was the task. Yeah. T-A-S, it was yeah, task. task. Because that, that, that's the, the classes that you have to take remedial if you don't pass. Right. right. It was right. the task, task test. test. yeah. So, yeah, he goes, um, hey, uh. I enrolled you into that task test. You got to go to Leverland and take it. And I'm like, what the fuck, dad? Like, <laughs> I'm all pissed. Yeah, and yeah. he goes, yeah, motherfucker, if you're going to stay here, you're going to go to, you're going to go to school. If not, you got to get the fuck out. And badass, I was like, bro, that's badass. Oh, fuck. As a dad now, I understand, right? Yeah. That's badass, man. Your pops was good. And that's good because he wasn't going to take well. no. He Yeah, he, he wasn't going to take no for an answer. No, like, yeah. like he didn't mean well. He, he was <laughs> Like, no bullshit. He if I didn't no. work, that motherfucker was gonna kick me yeah. out. Look yeah. at you now. Yeah. Look at you now. Look That's why I say I owe my life to yeah, my dad. For real, brother. Yeah. I try to be a little bit like that with my kids because my middle one wants to do exactly that. And my mid, I told JP, my middle one is my payback um, for all the hell I've caused my parents, bro, or my grandparents. That motherfucker, me and her butt heads. But she's like, I'm gonna take a year off. I was like, bullshit. I was like, you're gonna go to school. If you finish it, it's up to you. I was like, but do not, because that's what I said. You know, yeah. Anytime, I'm 43 years now, and I still pushing that shit off. You know, but uh, what, yeah. who's your payback? Okay. For real, the youngest one? Mm, oh. No, the oh, my daughter. No, no, no. Well, I'm asking the youngest one, but she's not. No, she's yeah, not. Yeah, because is younger than yeah, that. Yeah, Sugar's okay. nine. So she's your payback. She, probably. Yeah. She's already. She's like, like me. Yes. She's just like me, that's, but that's our payback. Yeah, oh yeah. She's got the mouth. She's, <laughs> man. I tell her when you're 18, me and you're gonna go toe to toe. God dang. Like <laughs> I drink to that. I'm, We're gonna I'm, go toe to toe. Hey, like, I'm hey not call us. We'll have a podcast for you. <laughs> 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 It'll be better than that fight this past weekend. We got we got bets. We got bet. I got. Tr- I, bet, I, I bet mom. I bet mom falls. Yeah. <laughs> kids are yeah. Kids can. They're bad, bro. You remember thinking you could whoop your dad's ass? Oh yeah, yeah. And that's because my dad was you know my string. Oh yeah, I thought so. Even when he was in wheelchair though, I was like, this motherfucker can whoop my ass. His arms were bigger than mine, bro. I was like, take him from behind. Your dad, not so much. Like legit, yeah. I, I can honestly say, like, I was. I mean, because I mean, he was a bad motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. and then old man strength, yeah. like, yeah. no, I've seen. But my fight. dad, I was like, I oh, could yeah. whoop this motherfucker. I he really was could. little. Yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> I could whoop this dude's ass, and then uh, no, I it's, couldn't. It's the quiet ones you got to yeah. watch out for, bro. But yeah. then, like, I got into high school, and I knew I could whoop his ass, but yeah. Yeah. I just still respected <laughs> him. Oh, yeah. But well, he, I think up until what. His deathbed for your pops, he oh, probably yeah. still could have whooped oh, yeah. our ass. God. Dude, yeah, he, yeah, he was a he was a mean son of a bitch. Uh, one time at Amigos, he fought some little black kid, and uh, <laughs> they told me because I had to go pick him up. They were gonna arrest him. I was like, dude, you're in a wheelchair. He was like, motherfucker, disrespected me. <laughs> but what it was is, I guess that kid <laughs> in a wheelchair. Yeah, he wanted dad, bacon too. <laughs> yeah, man, my dad. Was, What's it with you and bacon? Man, <laughs> I learned it from my daddy. Man, my dad was horrible, like in a good way. But um, yeah, he was. If you ever were at Amigos, you probably seen him. He was in a wheelchair, one-legged Mexican. But, uh, yeah, some black kid cut in front of him and was just kind of talking mess to him. And that lady said, uh, my dad just got his cane from behind and just swacked that kid <laughs> and fucking tried to tackle him. But, yeah, they were going to arrest him. They called me. They called me for all this shit. Dialysis. Well, you say black, right? Uh, yeah. But it wouldn't even matter what race he was. No, it really wouldn't. If he got res- disrespected, yeah, I say black kid because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. in junior high, there was a story. Uh, one of the secretaries told me my dad was a uh, – uh, he – Pulled over some Northsiders and was hitting them with the belt. That was the story. And uh, she told me it wasn't my dad told me that because my cousins were in Northside and I think it was one of my cousins and his homeboy. But yeah, my dad put because uh, he's a cowboy pulled off his belt and was all fucking. You know now that's child abuse. You, know, you can't just <laughs> beat random kids at a school. But yeah, 
Was it you that told me uh, you were walking home from Cavazos and someone we knew was walking in front of you and then they got out of the car and pulled out a gun on them? Was that you that said that? It kind of sounds... Man, dude, I've blocked out a lot of shit. That kind of <laughs> sounds familiar. I, I don't know. Can you imagine being in Cavazos and having a gun pulled out on you? Mm-mm. Nope. And that's, we, we went, we seen some crazy shit. We did. Yeah, we yeah, seen we, a lot of crazy shit. Well, I didn't have a gun pointed at me. But this guy did say he was going to rape me. God yeah. dang. Yeah. In really? middle school? Yeah. See, that's crazy. Yeah, that's. Yeah, like. And you knew him? And, no, it was actually the neighbor, like, on the next block. So what happened was, like, I guess his house was getting vandalized. And I was at one my best friend's house that lived right across the street from me. And then so me and my boyfriend took off at the time and then we were just talking in the alley walking and and stuff and then that guy comes out from behind his house and he was like get the fuck out of here and like just started cussing at us and he was like so my boyfriend at the time was uh like talking shit back to him like dude what, what's your problem yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was like shut the fuck up i'm gonna fuck your bitch i was like oh so wow. I called my brother. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I called Lewis. <laughs> I made like, this bro, situation worse. Bro, <laughs> this nigga said he was going to rape me. <laughs> that was so crazy. he went down there and he was like a bitch. He was like, no, I didn't see that. I was like, oh, you're a bitch. Damn. You fucking liar. That's and I still see him to this day and I just dog him like, fucking bitch. He was 12, dude. <laughs> no, he was old. Y'all were little. <laughs> I was probably 12, and he was old. Yeah, that's, that's like, crazy. Like, you don't say that to little girls. Like, that's traumatizing. Well, it is traumatizing, but um, the the shit that goes on now is, like, way crazier oh, yeah. than the shit we saw back then, and it was some crazy shit back then. I could have swore it was you that told me that. I kind of sound, the whole time, dude, that kind of sounds familiar. I, I've been, yeah, that. And there was a couple. What, I talking, was. I, I. I remember asking, like, "What did he do? Did he run?" And and they were like, "No, nah, he stepped up. Like, hey, shoot me or let's fight." What the? Hell? And I was like, "Holy shit!" And that shit. sounds like the hood, yeah, the north side, bro. That <laughs> real. But you were kind of like, like we said it before, like, uh, West Arne Benson, <laughs> South Side, <laughs> Little Mexico. <laughs> that shit's awesome, bro. You didn't put that on a shirt, man. When we moved over there, I won't say it's culture shock because I. I lived in the Caso Orlando apartments by the flea yeah. market. Mm-hmm. So I, I actually almost burned those motherfuckers down when I was three. But uh, <laughs> so when we moved around, when we came back, it was crazy. Jackson was a trip, bro. Were- you remember that lady that would stand at that corner, that intersection, and she would uh, make a cigarette smoking yeah. signal to yeah. every car because she was asking for a cigarette. I- and she was there. You can set your watch to it. Like, hey, I'm yeah. going to go to this neighborhood, stop at yeah. this intersection, there's going to be an old lady asking yeah. for cigarettes. What? I stopped and gave her cigarettes for every now and then because we used to, back then, I'd cruise and smoke and shit. So that little mix, yeah. <laughs> he you gave know, her rides. For, that's my home. We'd go to Burger King together. <laughs> she was telling you, two for two. <laughs> cigarette and a Whopper. <laughs> cigarette and- <laughs> she's out two for two she didn't even have to eat that whopper to get full <laughs> that's right oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey now hey now she was meant to be i Ill. swear there was two people in that oh, car <laughs> i was lonely <laughs> i remember her though, yeah. Yeah. i really did give her cigarettes every now and then get her name no i didn't I it it, it changed. She's a little mexican lady right <laughs> well she made she I, yeah she's, she's real wet, dark wet, uh, oh, was, no real dark yeah. I thought it was a wet one, but I know what apartment you're staying at because my cousin used to sell rock from that apartment. Dude, a Shout lot of a lot of activity went on in that apartment. I thought he was full of shit, but um, I kind of watched. He was my baby cousin, so shout out to he's better now. We kicked it everywhere too. We kicked yeah. it over there in that hood, oh, like yeah. like we we were I can't kings. See you hanging out out there, dude. <laughs> man, JP we, was the life of the party. Though, we man. did a lot of crazy. I remember shit. I had a boyfriend one time, and he pulls up there, and I'm like, "Oh no, take me home." <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, like, take me home for real. Yeah, that, I, I, we didn't realize how. I guess we knew how dangerous it could be, but it was just fun times. It was fun, man. Yeah, like, we risked it for yeah, the fun. Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it really was. Shit, my house that. There was a murder next to my house. Do you remember that? Dang. Uh, right on 3rd Street. Uh, they just recently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lopez and all them. Uh, yeah, dude. They never, they never came and asked me anything. It was and, there? Yeah. At, it was, for real? It was right next door. I, I came home from church. That was when I first got into church. And we had like this all night thing. It was on a Saturday. They dropped me off. So I went to Wiener Center because I, I had worked there. <laughs> and I got me some grub and I walked home. And 
I won't say the dude's name. They finally arrested him, but we all went to school with him. I'll tell you off podcast. Yeah, yeah, I, I know fear who for my about. life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was like, "Hey, fool, you hungry? Or you want some chips?" And I was like, "Oh no, I got some wiener snitch." <laughs> And hey, get some chips. And that, well, I go inside, and I didn't realize there was some dude that, like passed out against a tree. I just thought he was fucking drunk. So I go inside, and I eat my food and because my mom used to party. So I was waiting for my mom to come home. And I, it was about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. My mom wasn't home yet, and I saw these cop lights and shit. I was like, what the fuck? That dude was still out there on the, by the tree. So I was like, oh, man, they're fucking partying. Well, long story short, they hadn't murdered that fool there. He ate the Lord's cheap. <laughs> like, yeah, he ate somebody's <laughs> cheap. But yeah, I was all, no, I got winner's schnitzel. Yeah, you bro. were next. Yeah, it was I, I Can you imagine if you ate, chip, ate those chips? <laughs> well, man, like, r- rumor is they beat that dude's ass. Because he ate those he, chips, he ate right? Chips. That's what I'm saying. What he, the fuck? Yeah. They beat him to death because he ate their chips. And, uh. And they, they offered that this full chip. They offered me chips. Yeah, and, and the cops never came by. So it was probably 2008, 2009. I had a, a Christian mom. Was when, oh, no, no, no. I'm lying. The thing is when I was going through my divorce, when it first happened, I was like, man, maybe I need to reach out. And my brother called me. He's like, you keep your fucking mouth shut, dude. He's like, <laughs> I was like, but, but maybe it's God telling me. He's like, no, God ain't telling you to open no, your fucking mouth. No, but the crime line said. <laughs> the, crime, the crime line said I could get two whoppers for two twenty two. The crime line said I'm anonymous. <laughs> But yeah, they finally arrested some dudes on it like a few years back. But yeah, that was crazy, bro. But the hood, man, and my mom was a single white lady with two kids, you know, three, but two of us lived there at the time. And it was crazy. But, man, nothing ever happened in the hood, man. I'm sitting in the living room. And, you know, uh, back in the day, they didn't pay no babysitters. It was just, <laughs> hey, don't fucking open the door. Yep. Yep. Don't answer the phone. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. And when they partied, you were right there with them. Yep. And and so I'm chilling in the in the living room in the TV room and, and I hear fireworks. And I'm like, who the fuck's popping fireworks? And I go run to the to the front bay window and I you know lift the blind and it's a dude chasing another dude shooting at him. Damn. Dang. Like down down my sidewalk in front of my house. And Dang. I'm by myself. Damn, bro. And I'm like Oh shit! I'm like, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real, my granny lived on that street above uh, your Auburn or Amherst. Yeah, Auburn, Bars, Bars, Auburn. And, Yeah, bro. There was some. There were some white tweakers back then. But they were trying to break in, and my I remember my granny telling me, "I have a shotgun." But yeah, bro, the hood was fucking crazy back then, and I've heard it's gotten worse. You know, I haven't been in. I go through every now and then. I do some work I don't over think there. Think it's gotten worse. It's just them crackheads on the bikes. Well, yeah. see, that's what I'm saying. Did we have as many crack, or maybe we just didn't know what crackheads were back then? I th- I think there's more crackheads. More now, obviously, because yeah. yeah. everybody wants to get high now. And yeah. all jokes aside, it's sad, bro. It's it's sad to see see your people like that. It really is, man. Really but is. I mean, what the fuck can you do? Be better than that, right? But so. what I'm saying for the people that that they can't move out. I mean, yeah. their house is paid. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah I don't know. I hate to put a damper on what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> that's my hood. Wow. That's my hood. Yeah. But that is my hood. I'm proud. I'm fucking proud to say that I'm from that hood. What, what'd and you I say? know everyone that's from that hood. That's from like my friends. Yes, sir. We're all proud oh, to yeah. be Same from here. there. I'm yeah. proud to be East Third Street, East East uh, North Little Side, Mexico. <laughs> Little Mexico. <laughs> For real, bro. <laughs> fucking East Side. But yeah, going back to that star test, it was it was a motherfucker, man. Like the weight of the world was on you. So did you feel relieved when they did say you passed? Were you like, fuck yeah? Fuck oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I was I I comment saying that because um, when my son was in in elementary, dude, the uh, I thought the weight of the world was on me. I saw him like crumble, stress, like yeah. like stress, That's how you like see the kids, yeah, like because. I think we handled stress well because, you know, our parents fucking hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah, all right, oh, cool. We know how to handle stress. We it. We'll go outside and play. Dad just hit mom at the dinner table. We're like, oh. oh. Pass me the mashed potatoes. <laughs> mom likes to talk shit. <laughs> but these soft ass kids now, they don't know that shit. They can't handle no. pressure. No, you can't. And man, he fucking, like, he crumbled. Damn. And I, I had a. At the time, I still had my friend that that was, um, at the time, she was a director, or she was on the school board for some artsy-fartsy school district in Dallas, and I was like, why do they use this scare tactic? Like, what the fuck? Like, these kids can't handle it, and she was like, that's just just how it is. Sucks, bro, yeah. Is that how it still is? I should have asked the kids, because I asked them, because, like, it was Shuggy's first time doing the test today. 
and I asked him this morning, I was like, um, are you nervous? Like, you think you got it? He's like, I got it. Like, he wasn't. So he was. Yeah, yeah all of them were just good. But is he a straight A student? Um, He's like an AB student. But still, I don't know. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. AB, yeah, yeah, he's still yeah. AB. Because my son was straight A on a roll, but he still was stressing, like, yeah. I, mm. I'm, I might fail this. That's like, Halen's pressure. probably the smarter one out of all of them. Like, she always masters all her tests and. She was like, the writing was about a horse. She was like, we had to write about a horse today. I was like, mm. she was like, I probably didn't do, do good on that one. It was but. Megan the Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> JP. We had to write about Megan the Stallion. I hate that bitch. <laughs> I'm glad Tori Lee shot that bitch. Shot that pinky toe off, bitch. Shot that bitch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not, I mean, it is what it is, but I, I really wish they'd stop that fucking scare tactic. But maybe they did because, I mean, you you don't see it. It's, Not it, with my kids. Yeah, it's crazy, though, because it does put a lot of pressure on them. And you see it from the elementary to the middle school to the high school. Yeah. And, um, but now that we are, like, entering the end of um, the school year, how how fucking excited was play day <laughs> oh, dude, dude it was so fun especially because we got to like do it with mccorder because i went to tubs so mccorder oh, y'all mix schools yeah oh, that's badass See, we oh, didn't get to do that. We yeah. Didn't do that yeah shit. we got to do that like probably two years maybe we we went to t i remember walking to tubs and and doing a tug of war but that was it okay and but then even that's kind of cool though yeah it was cool didn't y'all get to play like basketball y'all schools mm -hmm. see i went to wheelock yeah, we, and did. Bayless yeah. And yeah. we didn't we get to do none those. of that and i'd be fucking jealous bro <laughs> <laughs> i went to wheelock and bayless elementary after i went to uh y'all didn't have a boys club no like bro. basketball team nah, nah, uh and <laughs> i hated that shit i was like why do the people in the hood get to do that shit and then when i moved to the hood they're like oh now you go to junior high you know the business. So I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> Then, I'm fucking dropping PA. out. <laughs> I quit. Y'all don't have bacon. God damn, Thomas. <laughs> so I was trying to quit school in seventh grade. <laughs> I'd rather work. <laughs> I'd rather work. We're going to work at Puto. <laughs> I should have your Burger King. I'm going to sweep at, at Rufus's barbershop. <laughs> <shop. laughs> I should have started mowing yards back then. No, but play days were the shit, dude. Uh, yeah, I didn't. That was badass that you could go mm -hmm. to other schools and interact. We never did that. Yeah. Like I remember, like racing, racing them. So we did like a little track meet with them so, too. Yeah, school. It was that, pretty cool. We did do a track meet with them. Okay, and I think that was the tug of war, but it wasn't play day. Play day, yeah. really? Yeah, ours was play day. What was your event in play day? The softball throw. Uh. Kickball, kickball, the kickball, kickball was the shit, bro. I was like, ain't nobody gonna throw farther than me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do the foxtail shit? Oh, oh dude, that was I fun. still have a foxtail at my house. No shit, I you still gotta, have it. You gotta yeah. take a picture and post that, bro. For real, dude. My kids don't know what that shit is, bro. That I. I got my ass whooped for that fox tail. <laughs> I did. Here, I'll hold on to that memory. Yeah. <laughs> I flipped off my mom. <gasps> oh shit. I did. Uh, I wanted that foxtail oh, so shit. bad, bro, so bad, and it was like a bring bring the order form and seven dollars, <laughs> and then like five months later, your fucking foxtail <laughs> came yeah. in, and um, I remember like, Dad, can I have seven dollars for what? For this toy at school? No, I'll get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm gonna ask my mom. My mom's gonna for sure give it to me, but I'm gonna ask her right before school, and so uh. I fucking finish brushing my teeth. My mom goes in after me to brush brush her teeth. And I was like, Mom, do you have $7 for a, a foxtail at school? And she's like, no, I don't have any money. Oh. And I flipped her off oh. behind her back because I was so mad. And she fucking turned around and saw me with my finger up in the air. And she was like, oh, you little motherfucker. Fucking JP. Yep. That's, and she beat that's when the your balls grew. My mom never hit me. It was always wait for your dad. Wait for your dad. To she get said home. today nope. it's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she beat the fuck out of me. And then Dang. and then still bought me the foxtail. <laughs> she borrowed um, uh, seven dollars from my uncle Enos and bought me that foxtail. And you remember it, that ass whooping to this day. That's and why. You still have it. And still, when I swing that foxtail to this day, I still catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> 
you look over your shoulder and shit. Your wife's like, hey, what the fuck's wrong with you? My mom, she's like, beat the shit. <laughs> oh. For real. Those ass whoopings will last a lifetime, bro. Dude, That's badass. It was, it was legit that ass whooping that, like, you're in fucking lunch and you still can't catch your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the mom. Yeah, man. she whooped my ass for that fuck still. But I always, always could never, ever sleep the night before play day. Oh, yeah. You were too excited. Yeah. Because like, oh, yeah, like you said, tug of war. And they'd even let, you know, me being a chubby kid, they let you be in the relay. So that was the only time, like, I thought I could run. So I'd be running, you know, proud. And it was the big boy. They, they wouldn't call it, like, the chubby kid relay, but. They let us all chubby this, kids run. This dude always talks about how he was like chubby. And, I really and wasn't, whatever. but I. But this motherfucker was like, like me. I yeah. mean, we were pretty fucking athletic for oh, being yeah. Oh, yeah. like one well, junior. Yeah, I you remember were fast as fuck. Yeah, for, yeah. yeah. yeah we were good, dude. Like, <laughs> I always joke and say that, but on B team, you were start, uh, starting uh, point, point guard. guard. Yeah, and then I was for on the B team. Oh, yeah. For a seventh grade B team. Well, th- or literally, <laughs> though, was it eighth grade you played 18? Or uh, was it? It was eighth and ninth. Eight, eighth and ninth grade yeah. you played 18. Yeah. yeah. But seventh started. Yes. Like, but it was all of us. We, me, yeah. you, Roy, Adam. We were watching Above the Rim. Remember oh, that movie? God. Oh, Thinking yeah. we were the shit on yeah. B team. Like, <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm going to be like two pop food. Just, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all came to score with the razor blade in his mouth. Because of, because of Above the Rim, oh, yeah. I switched from a backpack to a duffel bag and thought I was the oh. shit, no shit at Kawasas with a duffel no bag. No shit. Yeah. I never knew that. That's yep. badass. With a uh, basketball in there <laughs> from the flea market and shit. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was the pizza one that was all, all lopsided. <laughs> Did you, it wasn't even a... Uh, uh, junior high regulation no nah, like fuck that. no you remember the pizza oh, yeah. final oh, yeah. four basketball oh yeah. oh yeah i think we got that every year and yeah, oh, yeah. i put that bitch in my in my um duffel bag <laughs> yeah. i was the shit <laughs> did you know they're making a new white man can't jump i heard about that yeah. i heard but yeah. who who's the i don't even know i saw the previews the other day i was like oh wow it's somebody I I that it. it's recognized well i can't remember off the top i know of they the fucked head, up house party for me yeah i, I won't even watch that yeah so, fuck yeah. that shit I don't. Yeah, I won't, I won't. Are we just getting old? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah. I think that's what it is. Like, I didn't even want to watch the new Ghostbusters, but I watched them for my kids. And the girls all, one? Uh, the newest one? Yeah, I guess the no, not the girls one. They came out with uh, with the glasses. The doctor with the glasses is his grandkids. That guy from uh, that kid from Stranger Things. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. It wasn't that too bad. Good. Yeah, my kids like that. So I'll give certain ones a chance. But yeah, you don't fuck with certain movies, man. And yeah, House Party, I, I won't even look at that one. Uh, they made a remake and it was called Remember the Tight Ones. <laughs> that one was pretty good. I like that remake. I need you to send me that one. <laughs> I not, don't want to see it. Not on this phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that other one, uh, Forrest Humps. Forrest that one was a good remake. Oh, yeah. That was a great remake. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all want to take a break? Let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> I forgot. Fuck I thought we were recorded the whole time, bro. We took like a fucking eighty minute break. Um let's let's keep it real. Yeah. Talking about school, elementary. Did you ever shit your pants <laughs> in elementary? I can't say that I have. <laughs> On which week? <laughs> bro, I didn't shit my pants. This is a true story. I was going to Bayless Elementary. It's a uh, before it became real hood, man. The East Side took over, uh, East Side Trece. But uh, when I was there, I was. What's you claim is and, and, and I, I was all proud. I was all South Side. And then I come to North Side and get my ass kicked. But I, I had those uh, fucking MC Hammer pants. The, oh, yeah. The, the big yeah, one, yeah, the yeah, Velcro yeah. and shit. Everybody yeah. wanted those. Bro, yeah. I, I thought I was. My mom was a nurse, so she was able to do some things like that. So I thought I was shit. Well, there was this black girl. I can't remember her name. But uh, I guess we I, there was some like underlining. We both liked each other because we treat each other like shit but one day she's like you got shit on your pants and i was like no i don't she's like you got shit on so i um, did my velcro and i pulled my pants down to look well mr finch this dude was like five two he walks by he's all uh pick your pants he i guess he thought i was like trying to screw that little girl i was like she said i had shit on my pants man it was like a piece of chocolate bro they rolled me up sent me to the office and i was like there and she was like you have shit they're making fun of me and i defended myself i was like yeah, bro. So I didn't shit on myself, but they accused me of shitting on myself, and I was defending you myself. Got written up for it. Hell, and I got written up for it, bro. And that's when the reason I moved to Jackson is because of that motherfucker, Mr. Finch, bro. He was in my face, and they took me to the office, and um, 
the principal at the time, I can't remember, I have to Google it. She she hit me in my back, right? So my dad was going to fuck her up. Well, she wound up getting in trouble. They, they kicked me out of the school because my dad threatened to fuck him up. So they kicked me out of the school, and she winded up getting arrested. Speaking of karma, she got arrested a few years later for stealing money from, I guess, the school funds. Not at, just at Bayless, but there was another school. I'll have to Google it and send it to you because I'm not From the book it. fair. From the book fair, right? <laughs> Because I remember she was on the news one year and she like kissed some pig. It was like some, uh, it was on KCBD. It's like a something for her school. And I was like, man, that's that bitch that fucked me up. Well, yeah, she wanted up stealing shit. But uh, so I didn't shit on myself, long story short. But they, the girl said I looked like I shit. I on wish myself. I was your friend back then. Yeah. <laughs> so I could have told you, please hammer, don't hurt Oh, him. bro. They were the shit, bro. They were Please hammer, don't hurt bro. him. Bro. <laughs> I used to do it too. Too legit, bro. Too legit. Hey, bro. I thought I looked good too. Man. My mom was all proud. She's like, "Get it, Tommy, get it!" Oh shit, they were bad. They were. T- uh, and your Reebok high top. <laughs> yeah, I did have some Reebok. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh, I know you dude. did. <laughs> you remember I saved it. Oh shit. Oh, um, good times. So, I'm very like warm blooded. I I can sweat in a fucking snowstorm. Yeah, yeah. But as a kid, man, dude, if I was cold, I had to shit. Really? I don't know what it really? was, but as a kid, I could not be cold. If I was cold, I instantly had to shit. And I remember <laughs> uh, sixth grade, Mr. Becerra's bitch ass <laughs> fucking ate that puto. And I hope he hears this. Shout out. Because I hate you, motherfucker. He made my life hell. He made my sister's life. He made everyone's I've life heard. fucking hell. I've Fuck heard. that puto. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, he put me right under the air conditioner vent. And I remember that cold air just fucking hitting me. And I was like, I have to go to the restroom. And he's like, sit down. Mm. And I'm like, dude, if you don't fucking let me go, I'm about to shit myself. (laughs) And so I go back to sit down and I come back up to him like, I have to go to the restroom. And so he tells me like, no, three times. And I'm like, after the fourth time, I guess he realized like this dude's got to go to the restroom. So (laughs) I'm walking to the restroom fucking turtling Turn. it like a motherfucker and i lose the battle <laughs> yeah i lose the fucking yeah. battle. Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. so then i get to the restroom and i'm like how am i gonna pull this off <laughs> like like legit and it was like the perfect way to shit my pants because it was just all in my underwear yeah so <laughs> one long yeah so, yeah so yep, <laughs> yeah exactly i fucking go to the to the handicap shitter or wipe my ass i fucking throw those underwears away i'm like ain't nobody seeing these shits i'm free balling the rest of the day god damn it yeah, <laughs> yeah dude fucking puto but yeah man shout, I, out, shout out to your, what was it, myself. your sixth grade teacher yeah it was I, it, grade. it had to have been sixth grade yeah i think he did yeah, sixth grade yeah because it was sixth grade fuck that yep. puto so i shit myself in sixth grade well now that you say that i gotta tell this story because I, I can't be I embarrassed bro. Shit yourself. <laughs> i know i lied i lied you got a story. i know now I, since, you, since you put yourself out there, I don't feel as bad. Uh, my dad coached baseball, and uh, you know that park right across the street from uh, Lowry Field, uh, not Lowry, Chapman Field, that little softball. Oh yeah, yeah, the right. the Monterey, so like no Chapman, uh, Lubbock. Oh, you said Chapman. Sorry. So. Yes, yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Chapman. Uh, where, yeah, where we yeah, yeah, yeah. Play yeah. well. My dad used to coach baseball for Northwest, and it was like the senior division all stars, and they had their um, team meeting there or team end of the year shit. So we're there all day, right? And my dad lived on 25th Street, so that's, what, 23rd, two blocks away. So we're there all day. My dad's coaching, and my dad's – we're there all fucking day, and I got to take a shit, bro. I'm, like, eight or nine at the time. So I'm like, Dad, I got to use the restroom. Kind of the same way your teacher was. My dad was like, just, yeah, yeah, go over there, go over there. I'm like, dude, I got to take a shit, Dad. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just walk to the house. And so I'm trying to interrupt him every time, and, you know, he gets pissed off because he likes to talk to everybody. He's like, you know, if you don't sit your fucking ass down, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> So I'm like sitting there, I'm telling my stepmom, she's like, I can't do nothing. I said, like, man, I'm going to shit on myself. So I'm, I start walking, dude. My dad's like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I got to go to the restaurant. He's like, I'll take you home. So we're, he's bitching me out, right? And now I'm, I, can, I bitch my kids out sometimes. And i like, fuck, I'm like, dad. But uh, he's taking me home. He's like, uh, when I'm talking to somebody, you don't interrupt. I was like, dad, but I had to. And he just looks at me. And I guess like a kid in his diaper, I'm just looking at him. He goes, did you just take a shit? And I was like, no, sir. He goes, he goes Tommy, I you you smell like shit. And I was like, Dad, I'm so sorry. So we get in the house, bro, and I want to cry. 
oh fuck it's on 25th street and so i'm just and he's like you nasty motherfucker and i was like i kept trying to tell you he kept you outside with the monkey bro i think he probably did wash me outside bro <laughs> pull your cheeks apart <laughs> with a manguera with his thumb on the manguera <laughs> making pressure <laughs> spread him apart god damn it he made me sit in the living and i was so terrified of my dad he's like after I took a shower or whatever, he goes, I'm going to go back to the thing. He goes, you sit right here. I don't want you fucking breathing or blinking. And I swear to God, I don't think I took a single breath <laughs> until that motherfucker came back. I was sitting there, bro. And it was like two hours later. I'm sitting there staring at the TV. He walks in all like nothing happened. He's like, hey, what are you doing, mijo? And I'm just like, not blinking, bro. So, yeah, I did shit on myself. Smelling like Irish spring and so, shit. Yeah, I, oh so, uh, thanks for bringing back that trauma. <laughs> Oh, try to block it out. Oh, it was yeah. I was about eight or nine, bro. But yeah, I remember that. I was like, Dad, I I, I gotta go. And but yeah, afterwards he laughed because he, he was like, Man, that happens, me. I was like, But you fucking terrified, me, right? Dude. I was like, You you made me feel like shit because I had to take a shit. When I took a shit on myself, I was like, But I swear, bro, I sat there for like two hours, Indian style, just staring straight. He said, like, I smell shit. <laughs> shit yeah, that's smell. exactly. He goes, Thomas like, Scott. Did you? Oh, yeah, oh shit. <coughs> that was the only time. <laughs> I think that I can recall. <laughs> that I can recall. <laughs> oh, dude! Uh, Fun times. I remember times. like <laughs> just feeling like this is it. My life is over. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, because you're in school. Because yeah, yeah. you're in school and fucking kids are mean oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. I and it was like the perfect storm. Like I pulled my pants down and I was. It was just all in my underwear and I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> You found you found a silver lining in a <laughs> shitty moment. <laughs> you know, I, can, I can go free balling the rest of the day. It's all right. And then fast forward to Vegas and I shit on the wall, I know, bro. When you told me that story, I, I unfortunately visualized it. That traumatized me too. <laughs> but that was like what forty years apart. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I Not think bad. I'm doing all right. <laughs> it's only happened twice. Yeah. Fuck, oh, man. Shit. Well, the well, the second time went in my pants, yeah. but <laughs> that was well, a close I, call. I still feel bad. So, Mary Jane, did you ever shit yourself? <laughs> <laughs> be, be honest. Be like, <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, that's but, awesome. But you were a girl playing baseball like peewee with with boys right mm -hmm. okay and like there no. wasn't there wasn't no porto shitters in practice like no just go to united hurry we up. always practice like at maybe tubs or mcquarter or cavasso's okay. that's kind of where we practice at all the time or matthews so you're close to home all yeah the time. yeah or there somebody's you. house i can go to the house i can't plant these now guys just at anyone's house I I, I used to walk home ever since Lubbock. I was a kid. I want to say that I did have an accident one time. Uh, we were at Thea Janie's house, and they were partying. But I don't think I shit myself. I don't want to. <laughs> you blocked I that memory out, man. She, she I goes, just it remember, can't be that bad. I just remember my brother had to go home and go get me clothes. Yeah. So maybe I did shit myself, but I don't remember. I just remember. <laughs> I remember my Jordans were shitty, <laughs> but I don't remember if I shit myself. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I just remember my dad bringing home like um, like those those big old baskets like for Christmas and stuff. They oh, had yeah. the fruit baskets. Oh, yeah, and yeah. his was like some oranges. And man, I attacked them oranges. Like I love oranges and they're like the best oranges. I probably ate all of them and that fucked me up. We oh, went yeah. to Thea Janie's house. They were partying. They were drinking. And I just remember my mom sending Tony to go get me clothes. <laughs> That's you're all I, I remember. I, blocked I was too in young. Between, I blocked that out. Oh, walk, yeah. I was too Walk young. your sister. Don't put her in the car. <laughs> don't, don't. Walk her all the way home. Walk. It's just down the street. We'll meet you there. <laughs> I don't want to shit on my seats. <laughs> oh, oh, That's shoot. all I remember. Dude, um, how nostalgic is uh, that brown paper bag with an orange and an apple and oh, some peanuts? Oh, yeah. That I miss dude, that dude. Back then real. I didn't appreciate it. Fucking now. church. Oh, yeah. it, like well mostly church, but a lot of people gave that everywhere. Christmas but time. Yeah, dude. man. Fuck. Yeah. And then that hard Fuck ass life. candy that nobody fucking right? ate. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like, what design is this? <laughs> <laughs> Crunching this. It's from five it's not Christmas. A mistletoe, <laughs> it's a dick. <laughs> Uh, my grandma put dick candy in here. <laughs> What's my granny doing on the weekends? God damn it! No, I miss I miss those uh, 
like the little bag. Uh, I remember one one year at church. Uh, shout out! I don't know if you remember Julie Cantu. From, uh, the name high. sounds familiar. We went to Lubbock High with her. Uh, we all went to church. Me, Stacy, and all that. She, she had like, a sister. No, she, no. Uh, she was just okay. the only kid. Uh, but uh, we were like friends, right? So in eighth grade, I don't know if you remember Ruben Regalado. Yeah. Right. He he was my homeboy, and he was like get, telling me to you know talking me up to ask her out. He's like, man, I know you like her and all this shit, right? Wasn't so, that his girlfriend? <laughs> check this out. Check this out. <laughs> We're at my house, right? We're kicking it. Like we used to do stuff for church, so we're probably gonna go do some drama practice. And he's he's like, man, dude, I think she likes you. All this shit, right? So I was like, no, she's like my sister, blah blah. So he's hyping me up, dude. He's like, I think you should tell her how you feel. So I was like, fuck it. Tomorrow Sunday, we're doing something at church. So I, long story short, we walk in, they give us the bags, right? So I'm like, cool. I'm snacking on some of the peanuts. So I was like, I'm gonna go tell her. Well, I, as I go over there, everybody's like, oh my god, Julie and Ruben got together, right? I'm like, ah! Bro, I was like, fuck this bag. <laughs> I was like, I'm going, I, I, I left church, bro. I wanted to, I wanted to cry, throw emotional shit. I want, uh, not really, but I left church. I was like, fuck this. I'm going home, and they all chase me down. No, bro, it's okay. Let let God use this moment. I was like, fuck this moment. Goddamn. Later, Ruben's like, to be my moment. Yeah. And later, Ruben was like, my bad, bro. He's like, uh, I kind of liked her too. I was, like, what, what? I was like, why the fuck were you hyping me up yesterday? Goddamn it! You didn't. You took. You took a long time, you motherfucker. Took, this was yesterday. <laughs> this was thirty minutes before church, puto. <laughs> oh shit, dude! So yeah, I, uh, that traumatized me too. Because you were, I don't you were like walking home listening to Three Doors Down. <laughs> no, I was listening to um, New Edition. He spends nights in California, <laughs> <laughs> crying my eyes out. Oh shit! Oh, oh <laughs> shit, dude! You're crying now. Yeah. God damn you! Oh, it's really traumatizing. Fuck Julie! <laughs> Fuck you! Listen to this, Julie. Fuck you! <laughs> no! <laughs> you ripped my friend's heart out. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying now. Twenty years later, still crying. He liked you a lot, puta. What you could have had. You said fuck Julie. Oh my bad, Julie. Oh shit. Fucking. You could have had a life of lifestyle, lavish. Nah, oh. he ain't breaking his heart. Look at him. <laughs> Twenty years later, he still ain't over See, it. He could have went to Club Rio <laughs> with us on Sunday nights. Before. Oh shit! <laughs> you said you said hyping you up, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to tell you some nasty shit. Uh, in high school, I can't say these names on air. I'll tell you off the oh, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> My buddy's like, "Hey, you're friends with so and so, right? Yeah. Well, hook me up." I'm like. Okay, whatever. So I tell her, hey, my friend likes you. And she's like, for real? She's like, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, not feeling it. So then he goes, hey, did you ever like tell her or hook me up? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, but she never said nothing. So then like two weeks later, she's, I guess she got bored or whatever. And was like, hey, tell your friend to holler at me. I'm like, all right, cool. So. I know they hooked up. I don't know if they had sex, but I definitely know like they were like That's holding right. hands and kissing and definitely know that that went down. Like I said, I don't know if they ever had sex, but I wouldn't put it past these motherfuckers that they had sex. I'm 89% sure. This was like <laughs> sophomore year. So out of high school, it's probably like two years removed from high school. We graduated. I'm at a dance, a wedding. I'm somewhere. And they were like... <clears throat> The sister of my friend in high school, of the girl, the sister, was like, uh, oh, yeah, my cousin is over there. And you went to school with him, didn't you? And I look, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I'm like, that's your cousin? She goes, yeah. And I go, are you and your sister, like, got different parents? She goes, no, we got the same parents. Oh, shit. And I'm like... That your sister's his cousin too, right? She goes, Yeah, duh. You, like, she's telling, like, you, you stupid tried to ass. verify, yeah. And I'm like, Oh, fuck. <laughs> they hooked up in high school. I fucking oh. know they hooked up in high school. And I was like, Oh, Yo, it's because of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But how do you not know your family tree? What the fuck? Dude, what have you seen recently? Some couple was on Inside Edition, is a Hispanic couple found out through a. Uh, at Ancestry.com that they were third cousins and they have like three kids they've been married for like 20 years and they're not R-worded no they're no. not must-tarted no. <laughs> they're must-tarted hey Gilbert no for real bro and I'm like 
That does have shit. All jokes aside, my dad has twelve kids. I can't date women. I got to make sure they're not related to bull. Like, yeah, let me see your twenty three and me first. <laughs> Steve Reeves. Fuck. We can be friends. We can be friends. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh. That's crazy though, bro. That's that's fucked up. So, did you, what happened? Did they? I don't. Guess they never uh, talked about it. No, I mean, cause that was sophomore year, and then you know. So are they second or third cousin? Because third, fourth cousins kind of. My dad used to tell me, eh, it, don't it don't matter. It don't matter as much. It's you watered know. down. You fuck your second it's cousin. You can cool. <laughs> Just fuck your second cousin. Like, cool. They did it in the Bible. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dad, this ain't Rome. This ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it went in Rome. Oh shit! Yeah, man. That's crazy. Uh, man. I mean. I don't even remember like junior or senior year them so, kicking it, but I know for a fact for a small period of time our sophomore year they were together. Mm -hmm. You always heard the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> that's my cousin. <laughs> for real, bro. Oh shit, that's nuts, bro. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. Well, whatever. You gotta make sure you know your family. Oh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. How do you not know your family tree? All right, well, I guess it well, happens. Well, see, like I don't know a lot of my dad's side. See, so. that's the fucked up part when you don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't know. It's like I. I'm talking shit, but I'm the same way. Like I know I, yeah. my dad's side. Like I'll meet him at a funeral. Yeah. So that, you know, like some yeah. of my cousins that were at my brother's funeral. They're like, oh, hey, we're cousins. I'm like, oh, hey. I'm like in my but 20s, mid 20s. And they're like, this is your cousin Chona <laughs> and no, no, na, na, Juana, Juana. And I'm like, what the fuck? who the fuck are y'all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. 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 For real, bro. That's just crazy, though. To I even asked. Like not too long ago, my auntie Gloria. I'm like, how are we related to so and so? And yeah, so I, I get it. I get it. I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ugh, that is yeah. nuts, though, bro. Yeah. Well, what do you do when you find out? Oh man, actually, okay. So your sister tried to hook me up with this dude back in school. So like, she gave me the number or whatever. So I called him, and then I was like, hey, you're at this house, right? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, how do you know this person? And he's like. That's my dad. And I was like, okay, well, then we can be friends because you're my cousin. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. No. That was the first day That's... talking to him. And I found out well, he was my cousin. See, you got to be Inspector Gadget. That's smart, mm. though. Some people wait. They all, they kind of know Hell that they're cousins. Nah. And they're all fucking him away until she that, says something. That's exactly why I said, I don't know my dad's side, like, yeah, because of that situation. I, I have a podcast that's two girls, and um, uh, it's called The Viral Podcast. One of them is like a touring comedian, and she's hilarious, and she's country as all fuck. Yeah. And she was telling the real life story about how she used to work at Sonic with her sister, mm -hmm. and that her sister <laughs> used to fucking be tongue punching with some dude at their breaks, right? And uh, finally, finally, they made it official, and uh, she tells him like, you know, we need to go out on a date. Finally, so he's like, all right, I'll go pick you up. So they lived with their grandma. So you know the sister's getting ready for a date and then the dude shows up and uh the grandma's like where the fuck you going with him she's like well <laughs> that's my date and he's and the grandma's like that's your fucking cousin oh <laughs> shit dude <laughs> i couldn't imagine that bro. <laughs> and she's like they've been tongue punching for like months <laughs> he all looks at her he's like you just want to go to the next step you know what fuck it we're already there <laughs> but that like yeah. she said that was a true story that's that's scary that's Ugh. scary as shit it bro like, that's i can see it happening and i grew up knowing all my cousins like my female cousins they're like my sister so i knew that wouldn't yeah. happen but from colorado i have family all over the place so yeah that, that's a scary thought bro like, well i've been to family reunions where i've heard my cousins talking about fucking their own cousins and i'm like you God nasty damn. fucker Ooh. like <laughs> girl I got him on speed dial right now. <laughs> hey, let's call him up. Let's call him up. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> Y'all still fucking? <laughs> no. Oh, that's but crazy before shit, we fucking close out the show, man, uh, taking it back to high uh, elementary, did you ever have any busted ass fucking school pictures? Oh, man. <laughs> you went to school all uh, fucked up on school picture oh, day. If I can find yes. them, I'm going to send them. Your yes. fucking Awanga your, your ring on your neck is all like this. <laughs> And that asshole photographer didn't even fix it. Just right? like, Push it. did you ever get the ones with the balloons behind you? Uh, uh, it was the balloons that one year with it almost looked like paint splattered against yes. the wall. I got one, bro. I look like white trash, but I'm Mexican. Was it like <laughs> a horrible, like a tarp? I mean, like a it backdrop. Was a tarp. 
I want a backdrop. It was a backdrop, or was it legit actual, balloons? I think it was actual balloons. Nah, I'll send it to you, ours bro. were never fancy Dude, like I'll that. Send it to you. Yeah. Bro, I look like white trash. Throw I have that, that shit away, bro. I had these cut off jeans, and we 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 wore white trash, and the shirt was like some hillbilly flannel shit, and I shaved head. Why I took pictures like that, but my mom still has. They were on the wall, bro. bro. Every year, I don't think my hair was combed. Yeah, my either I had a collared shirt or a, or a t shirt, and it was all fucked. <laughs> and we never bought pictures like the the proof, mm-hmm. the little proof. That's all you need. That's all we needed. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it on the fridge. Yeah. This is Migos' fifth grade picture. <laughs> Man, I always took pictures with sweaters. I don't know why. Like half of my pictures, I'm wearing some thick ass. I don't know who kind of made, made those sweaters. Fucking like, 90 degrees outside. Real, bro. I'm going to have to send you some. I'm going to have to send you some pictures. That- Man, I had some <laughs> fucked up ones, too. Like, I was just a tomboy, so I was just out fucking up, you know. <laughs> My hair is all, all dirty. fucked up. I'm like, God damn, Mom, <laughs> they, why did you have to buy this shit? <laughs> they never got us early either. Yeah, I was going to say, no. it's always after, after lunch recess or, yes, or some exactly, shit. Bro. Yeah. Man, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I still, I don't pay for my kids' pictures. Cause, or maybe this one I'll buy because they're junior one more year. But. Um, Man, I buy all of them. Do you, and all they're of, expensive And, and I never fuck. pass them out. Me neither. Never yeah. pass them out. Yeah. You don't even cut them. I don't even cut them. No, they're still all packed together. You show them off. Look at this. Here's the here's the wallet one. I know. And then when I do, when I see them, I'm like, oh shit, let me go get this. To the yeah, I'll late. Like, here's like second, third, and fourth grade. <laughs> They're all graduating. <laughs> We're gonna catch you up from now on. Yeah. I need to get you to take some pictures for me though, for real, bro. Uh for I'm my down, daughters. Bro. I would Fuck love yeah. that because yours are badass. The ones that it seems like the the ones that they hire for schools, they always fuck up because oh. they don't care. Mm-hmm. They just smile. You know they don't give a fuck, bro. But I do, I do want to hit you up. I don't know if because I, uh, I want to do something for when they graduate, but maybe at the first of the year too. I was so pissed at uh, my our yearbook picture because you had to go to the photography the studio, studio to yeah. do the. So it, it, it was it wasn't like you had to wait till your cap and gown came mm-hmm. in because they had it there, right? Yeah. And I was so pissed at myself because all these fuckers were smart and took the their yearbook picture with the yeah. honor yeah. stole. Yeah. And my dumb ass was like, no, nah, I'm not honors. <laughs> and I'm the only dumb ass out of all my friends that don't have the stole. And they were like, why the fuck didn't you tell me I have honors? And I was like, I didn't even think about that. I even, I even did that, bro. And I dropped out of school and shit. I was all proud. For real, bro. You have I, a dropout mm, area. Yeah. Well, Puget did the same thing. Remember? Everyone yeah, did it. Everyone. That, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. how come you didn't fucking do that? I was like, I didn't even think about it. You're going to go back and Photoshop it and put it on? <laughs> Fuck. I'm the only pendejo that told the truth. <laughs> right? I didn't oh, either. <laughs> yeah. But but now, um, you know, I'm a photographer for senior portraits and shit. Yeah. Dude, graduation is around the corner. Mm-hmm. Dude, they, they don't even have their honor stole yet. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... Every year they do this, bro. Every year we got to yeah. break up the photo session into like two sessions because they don't have their fucking stole yet. And I'm like, it's like a week before fucking yeah. graduation. And is that on the parents for not ordering? Or no, it's the, the school. It's school. It? Yeah. Up, bro. yeah. Because you buy it well, at whatever time you buy it, but then they ship it all to your school. So and you're I'm, you're in the in their mercy and all that shit's ex- man the your the letter it's jacket, all bro, expensive bro I'm lucky we got ours for free uh, my daughter's was like five hundred bucks bro. I want to say I want to say just for the jacket was four hundred and then all the lettering and the sewing and the patches yeah yeah you're right about five hundred fucking dollars Acres, brother all for them to be like okay I'm done with school I don't need this jacket yeah. no more yeah it's exactly. not cool That's no more. T- I, I tell them y'all can wear mine. You know, it's lasted me twenty years. <laughs> you can have mine. Go to Monterey, but wear a little. I don't guys. even know where mine's at. It's somewhere at my mom's, but I don't know where the fuck it's at. I was lucky to keep mine because. But you're right. We we were like one of the last ones that got our, our letter jacket for free. Our sophomore years, I think. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. Me and you got ours. Because remember the, when we were seniors and the people that didn't get their letter jacket had that ugly ass collar. Yeah. Fuck that. I didn't. They want had that. a collar jacket. Did you get a letter jacket? Mm-mm. I dropped. I dropped. You didn't up. get a letter jacket at Richard Milburn or no. Matthews? <laughs> so what fall. happened was, <laughs> <laughs> so I got out of softball and then I tried to get back in and it just wasn't working for me. Yeah. So I had to get back out. And that happens. That, that really Baby daddies happen. are crazy. Oh, I'm glad I don't got a baby daddy. <laughs> yeah, me neither. We don't talk no more. <laughs> yeah. But anywho, you got any shout-outs? 
Not really. Just your listeners and just keeping you going. Well, do what you do, homie. I got to shout you out because you share my shit all the time, man. And I yeah. s- truly makes my heart sing. Uh, it makes. I love it. I appreciate it. I really do. It's good shit, I, bro. I can't tell you both enough. I told Tom, I mean, Thomas and uh, Adam last week, like, I just to have your friends give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It means and something. have people like like loyal listeners like it means the fucking world, man. And I feel the same way each time you ask me to come on, whether it's a last minute thing or a bro next week. It, mean, it means a lot, bro. Because like yeah, like I say, it's it is therapeutic. We're talking, laughing, uh, meeting people. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever met your cousin, and uh, and then like people just reaching out to me saying, "Man, uh, I heard you on JP's podcast. I think that's badass." Yeah, it yeah, is cool, would man. Even tell me that they listen to your podcast, and they're like, "Man, when y'all are together, y'all make me laugh." I'm like, "Bro, you have no idea." But what's really cool is your business getting shout out to yeah. you, bro. And I appreciate that. That means the world to me and my kids. Seriously, bro. And uh, much, much love on that. Much love. Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, do you have any shout outs? Uh, shout out to my, uh, homeboy uh, Marty Dominguez. It's a, I don't know if you remember Freddie Dominguez from junior high, but it's his baby brother. Good dude, bro. Single dad. Right? I remember. I do remember Freddie uh, Dominguez. His little brother's been a single father for like 10 years. Dude, this dude's a badass dude. Yeah. He, cook, he used to be a cook at Joel's restaurant. So from the hood, funny dude. Uh, shout out, single father. His daughter's going through some anxiety. Mother's not around. And uh, Marty. Marty Dominguez, man. He holds it down. Good Shout people. out, Marty, man. Shout out, Marty, bro. Yeah. yeah. Good uh, phone number again for your uh, lawn service. Um, 806-535-4215. And send me a text because sometimes if I'm not. If Most I'm, definitely yeah, send, send you a text. send me a text because if I'm on a yard and I see it, man, I don't know if it's bill collectors or But people. not only that, you, <laughs> nobody answers phone numbers. Really? Hell no. No, 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 I, no I, don't. I don't. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like. No. So I'm like, if you want to reach me for photography, just send me a text. Yeah. So yeah. And yeah. I appreciate you plugging it. And yeah, dude, you're. I, you're Photography's the shit, bro. It so, and be- is. before we leave, bro, shout out Julie Cantu. <laughs> Man, bro, <laughs> Julie, she she's married in different name now, yeah. bro. No. You, you said you ripped out his heart. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> went to <laughs> like um, wiping his eyes and shit. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm never eating bag oranges again, motherfucker. <laughs> We're like 25 years removed from there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got stories outside of the oh, That's fucking Yeah, up. man. But, no, but shout out, bro. I love you, man. Thank yes. you. And I'm proud of you, man. I Thank really y'all guys for yes. being. Thank you for having yes. us. Yeah, like, your photography you. shit is it's, it's legit. Yeah, it's like, fine, you did bro. the pictures for my daughter and. I appreciate it. Like and I'm really gonna have you for her quince. Well, thank you for, for being sure. my assistant. Hey, yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. I'm like, where do I hold it? Yeah, that's what's up. I'm like, I can't even see what she's doing. Yeah, but shout out, bro, because I know <laughs> you don't really plug yourself. Because I get it, you know. But you know, if anybody's looking for some photography, mm-hmm. man, uh, what's the name of it? If you don't mind me asking. JP Lopez Photography. JP Lopez. And it's okay. on it's on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, uh, shit, JP man. Lopez Seriously, Photography. Bro, yeah, appreciate that, man. Seriously, thank brother. you, man. Thank you. Um, shout out to uh, DJ Kipo. Holler at DJ Kipo for yeah. all your uh, upcoming graduation needs. That dude, keep that party going, man. I'm going to have real. to hit him up. Yeah, legit. He, he's <laughs> a bad mofo. And uh, Patriot Payton Construction and Think It a Burrito. Hottest hot sauce. Man, and I need to try it. That <laughs> I, I, I was like, who made this hot sauce? Because who the fuck were they mad at? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like yeah. when people <laughs> tell you, do you want the hot? The, you better be ready for the hot. Especially yeah. there. But shout yeah. out to Think It a Burrito. Shout out all you listeners, man. Shout out to everybody. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, too, for coming. Thank you for uh, having us. Thank love you, you both. Love you, bro. Love you, everybody. Thank you. Read some books! Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. This episode is brought to you by DJ Kipo. DJ Kipo handles all things like weddings, quinceaneras, anniversaries, and graduations. Um, he's good at what he does. Keeps the party going. And... Um, Hit them up on IG, TikTok at DJ Kipo 806. Once again, that's DJ K E E P O 806. Oh, it's you again. This episode is brought to you by Patriot Paint and Construction. They specialize in commercial and residential. They also specialize in drywall and paint. No job is too big or too small for them. Hit them up at 806 544 7199. Oh, you're still here? This episode is brought to you by Tigre Burrito, located at 720 Highway 62 in Wolford, Texas. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. They specialize in breakfast and lunch burritos. They've also got some plates. 
um, tell them JP Lopez sent you. But um, breakfast burrito is pretty fucking huge, so you better bring a big appetite. They're the shit.